Hello guys, welcome back to my channel again. I thought I'd do a quick video of another Canada Goose beanie. Um, now Canada Goose are actually my favourite beanie, ho uh, beanie house, so to speak. Canada Goose obviously uh, are world famous for their coats and jackets. But I would say that their beanies are probably one of the best beanies I've ever come across in terms of quality and style. Um, there's different types of beanies what are available to buy on their website. I have tried other beanies from other manufacturers, uh, design houses and whatnot, but I do prefer the Canada Goose ones because of the, the materials are quite soft and uh, they don't itch your head. Uh, some um, different brands what are out there, different style of beanies what you can get. Um, a lot of them are made out of a type of wool what tends to itch your head um, or get a little bit itchy. Um, and you don't, you don't really want to be wearing uh, itchy beanies when it's cold outside and whatnot because it gets a bit uncomfortable. So I find the Canada Goose ones to be nice and soft and really, really warm. Uh, so well done to Canada Goose for designing some really top beanies. Now, um, the one in particular, what I want to men mention today, which is a, a new one what I've uh, acquired, is this one here. Um, at first, when I saw this on the website wasn't overly chuffed about it because I prefer the one with the actual badges. Um, you've got the normal coloured badge, what they do, um, which stands out quite well. But if you want something more subtle, you can get the black badge versions like this one. This one's the most expensive one out of the bunch because it's the, uh, the ultra thermal one, which has the uh, additional... Um, kind of padding, uh, what's supposed to attract more heat into the beanie. This particular one is ultra tight on the head. Um, it's really snug fit, but it's super thick and warm. These are the most, um, like the standard disc taut ones, which are not as thick and they don't have the extra, they don't have the extra coat, um, padding in. And this one is a different style. It's uh, quite thick, as you can see. Um, and it doesn't have that um, thermal element to it. But uh, to be fair, you don't necessarily need to spend £260 on a beanie like this. Unless you really want to. Because these beanies are quite warm. Um, this particular style, the can with the one with the Canada Goose uh, symbol on uh, this way. You can get them in different colours. This is the Heirloom Gold version. Which uh, is like a sandy colour gold, I guess. Um looks really smart on and like i said at first when i look on the, on the website we weren't too keen on this design but when you wear it it actually it's more of a toned down fashion statement compared to these where you've got the badge what stands straight out these are kind of bold there's a red one absolutely boom you know you stand out you stand out a bit different with this one because it's just got the Canada Goose on it. Um, the dis the different the main difference between this beanie and these beers, apart from the badge difference, obviously, is the fact that it's a little bit taller on the head. So this particular style is a lot taller. So this one's more rounded at the top. This one tends to go a little bit more taller onto the head compared to that one for some particular reason. Just a bigger hat, I guess. Now, these hats are very, very unisex. They would look good on ladies. All these hats are very unisex, I would imagine. I've got a black one there as well. Um, a black uh, a black uh, Canada Goose one. These are all official beanies, by the way. So how can you tell that they're official? Well, when, obviously, you're buying from the original website like I do. Um, but they've got the uh, tags on there with the holographic badges. It's got all the official tagging. And wait, uh, the Canada Goose usually give you a massive box like this. And your uh, beanie will be in that when you buy it. And it'll come with some plastic wrapping on it with Canada Goose on it. And then you get all the the, uh, the correct re re receipts and stuff. The quality of these beanies are really good. Um, so I would argue they're actually worth the, the price you pay for them. I think this one's very expensive though. It's like 200 odd quid. Um, but this one was, I think it was 170 or something like that. Canada Goose, um, obviously it's a top-notch brand. And they, all, and they keep putting their prices up, I noticed. Uh, so every year the prices keep going up and up and up. Um, which is a bit disappointing. But I guess they want to make it exclusive. So 
not everyone can afford to buy them i guess they're trying to keep it slightly exclusive because it is um, a posh brand i guess um for quality i would highly recommend the beanies um for anybody who wants to look fashionable wearing a decent product but um but to keep warm um and they are waterproof or well not waterproof but they're kind of water resistant up to a certain point so when it's raining and stuff um or you're getting snow snowed on um they kind of uh propel the rain and whatnot a little bit somewhat and then we've got the tag in there saying heirloom gold somewhere there it is heirloom gold you got the back authentication things what you can look at with a hologram and whatnot um, I just think they're really high quality, so I, I'm willing to pay the money what they ask for with these because there's no other beanie what I've come across which uh, matches these really for durability, uh, comfort and um, warmth. They've got like a really nice smooth knit to them um, and it just looks really smooth and that. It doesn't look like one of these really... Uh, those knits what you get where you can see it's literally made out of wool like it's like a major woolly type of hat this is a wool hat uh obviously but it's really tightly knit so it's kind of smooth in the, on the design but anyhow i might end up buying the other colors there was quite a few different colors there's like a gray color what i'm interested in um it's a gray hat but it has this colored badge on it anyhow guys it's well worth looking into buying some of these hats this is a fairly new design well it's out like i say it's a little bit taller on the head so ladies probably could wear this if if ladies have got like um a lot of hair and they've got pony tails and things like that they might want to wear something like this maybe um so it sits on the head a little bit better um the only thing what i would say about this hat is that you've got a massive uh kind of fold on it uh, these folds are not as big but this can fold straight up because you've got that extra height on the on the on the beanie um compared to these ones which, which are a little bit rounder as you can see it's a little bit taller on the head um anyhow guys this is a quick quick look at this particular style of beanie um and i've got a couple of other beanies here what you've had a look at as well i'd highly recommend buying kind of the goose beanies anyhow catch you later guys